your guide to constellations, deep sky objects, planets, and events. Tonight's sky, highlights of the March sky. Early in the month, Jupiter shines like a beacon above the western horizon. But as the month progresses, Jupiter sinks lower and lower, eventually disappearing into the horizon at sunset. Taking its place is dimmer Mercury, which rises into the twilight sky during the second half of the month. Later in the evening, yellowish Saturn rises in the east. It will be up for the rest of the night, climbing high into the southern sky. As the brilliant stars of winter progress toward the west, the constellations of spring make their appearance. Two March constellations derived from Greek mythology, Gemini and Cancer, lie in the zodiac. The zodiac is the name for the band of sky through which the sun, moon, and planets appear to travel. The Gemini twins lie high overhead. They were among Jason's Argonauts, who sailed the seas searching for the Golden Fleece. The two bright stars are the heads of the brothers Castor and Pollux. Pretty cluster of several hundred stars is M35. It is visible to the naked eye as a fuzzy patch near the foot stars of the Gemini twins. Cancer, identified as a crab or lobster, also lies in the zodiac. In Greek mythology, Cancer was placed in the heavens by Hera, wife of Zeus, to immortalize its futile but tenacious battle with Hercules. It is a much dimmer constellation than Gemini, hard to see in light polluted skies. Within Cancer lies the lovely beehive cluster. Ancient stargazers called it the cloudy star. This large cluster contains hundreds of stars and lies about 577 light years away from us. Bright Venus rises in the east just before dawn. The night sky is always a celestial showcase. Explore its wonders from your own backyard. <laughs>